Hello and welcome to this Edexcel A-Level Geography uh, case study review and this little video is just about how you could set out and format your case studies um, alongside revising the main elements of each of the inquiry questions for the A-Level course. So a few things. Um, on this presentation, there are a number of different slides um, that you could use to help you write down your information. Um, where possible, try to use the same case study for multiple inquiry questions within each of the different topics, especially the compulsory case studies. The key is, is you want to be able to remember the main compulsory case studies in as much detail as possible. So in your assess and evaluate questions, you'll try to use these to try and not just re, um, remember the information and state it, but actually use that information in the correct way, choosing the relevant information that will explain your point and help you to provide an assessment or an evaluation within your answer. So it's about the application of this knowledge rather than just the recall of it. And part of this sort of revision technique will really help you to do this and provide you with a really useful tool for when you go back and review it. And it's one of those things that you could be doing as an ongoing basis as you go through each of the different topics uh, as you go through the course. So what we have on this slide is basically all of the different compulsory case studies. Now, these are taken directly from the exam board's specification. And you can see that where they turned up in each of the different inquiry questions for each of the different topics. OK, now this doesn't mean that you can't use, for example, Asian tsunami to help with inquiry question one. So if you're dis describing or assessing uh, how tsunamis are formed or which are the most important factors in the formation, then you could use the Asian tsunami for all of these. So this is just an overview from the specification of all of the key information. So the easiest way to lay it out is just a very simple table. We have the name of the case study here with a few of the basic details, basic information, it might be brief locational evidence, it may be brief information on the date, and then we can start to look at what would be the information from that case study that relates to the reason for the locations? What would be the information from the case study that would say, well, that hazard is more likely to turn into a disaster? And then for the case study for tectonics, what management has been done and how successful was it? So therefore, what you will effectively get is with these case study sheets is this would have all the information that you need. It has the geographical theory, the knowledge, the understanding. It has the uh, case study facts, but also will then allow you to apply that to the questions effectively. Now, on the next slide, we can see we have just a bit of information on Holden S. And I've just started this one off very simply. Now, obviously, many of you would like a completed version of this, but I honestly feel that the um, as you go through your notes, your information, you go through the wider reading list and you go through the information in the textbooks. It's about you finding that information and working out where it goes and putting the relevant information in. This way it will stay in your brain far better. And rather than just being able to recall knowledge, you'll be able to understand it and apply it far better. So it is important for revision like this that it is something that you do yourself. But here's just a little example. It doesn't need to be massively detailed, but you can just have key place names and then how it links into the theory. Use shorthand if you want to, things like wave cut notch, wave cut platform, um, and the key information there. Now there is a PowerPoint which also goes with this that can be found on Firefly. So you could download this directly print it out or actually just use it and type up all the information as you go through. You can then, of course, add to this if you save it somewhere where you remember, add to this as you go through the course. So here we have the water cycle 
And then we have the carbon cycle and energy security question as well. So, yep, this was a quick review on how you possible way that you could revise your case studies and your inquiry question topic knowledge at the same time. I hope it's been useful. Thanks a lot. Bye.